Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here. My name is Otavio Santana and today let's talk about Enan. You probably read the book, the FFT Java, that has several nice topics around Enan. Today I will cover this a little bit and also talk about how to combine these topics with four design patterns to make our code more readable and easy to maintain. The first one that I will cover today is value object. So if you are familiar with DDD, value object is a immutable class that has value to our business perspective. So the first step here, given I have an e-commerce system and I'd like to represent the available currency in my system. So let's go to the code. I will create a new package that I will put as VO. And then I will create an enum. I will put as currencies where I will have two available currency that is euro and the second one is dollar. Until now, I guess it's easy, but let's put a little bit more uh, complexity in this code. Because, okay, it's empty. Let's say that I'm using uh, Java money. As you can see here, let's show my, my dependence. I have my to represent money. And right now, it should return the currency unit to me. So, I will have my currency unit. So, everyone should return this currency. So, euro should return a currency uh, for euro and dollar and so on. So, I have two options. I can, for example, use here the, the currency code and then create the constructor. So I create a constructor here. Currency code. And based on that, I will start my currency remember uh, by default value objects are immutable place define it as a final field right now you can do the getter so you can define a getter As any classes, you also have the option to implement interface. For example, if I want to define this currency as a supplier of currency unit. I will turn a get, and I can do here is, okay, let's remove the getter in use here. So basically I have my currencies that represent my currency available on my system. Another available value object that I can represent here. For example, done with currencies, we also have the option to use, for example, color. If I have my color, I can create my value object here. Oops. New interface colors as uh, an none, and I am able to put blue, white, black, and so on. I can put a string here. So 
I can do almost the same. Oops. Almost the same. I will create a constructor. My value. And this value will be my uh, my color or my value. So right down here, I will create my field. I remember immutability is important to us. I, I able to just put a getter or implement the suppliers. One important point here, you are able to put as much constructor and fields that you want that you'd like to change. But remember, ours use final. It must to be a immutable object to uh, represent the value object in your code. Okay, right now let's move out to an example where I will explain you uh, some approaches, but let's start with create a package here that will be our function package as you can see here and give that I want to create uh, inum to enumerate the operation that I have available on my system so for example here I will create my enum right so operation and I will have two so I, I will have the plus and minus okay based on that what I can do is okay let's create an operation here so let's double operate double value a a double value B what I usually saw and I for sure I don't like it is the option of operation be here so as you can see here I have the operation and then I do a switch case operation and I can do the case minus plus so plus you be value a plus value b the minus you be the value a value b Default, I will throw uh, a legal argument exception, or maybe I don't know who knows unsupported operation exception. We don't have support yet, so right now I have a couple operations, and where is the problem with this code? Basically it breaks the opening calls principle. Why? Because every time that I want to include a new operation, I need to change this code here. Okay, so if I want to put, for example, times, I need to come here and then put the case, times, and every time, square, and so on. So, it's not, uh, good i mean the code is not good enough you can improve this code to make it better another good advice remember we are talking about java 8 or higher right now the current uh, lts is java 17 therefore you are able to use functions lambda and whatever you can sim simplify this code so let's create a new one let's call operation lambda and basically what I will gonna do is to have the same options and then do the refactoring to use something a little bit more if you wish readable than this quantity of code so what are you gonna do I will remove 
I will create my private final B function where I have double, double, and it will return a double. The operation self, I will create my constructor. So basically, it won't be an abstract anymore. And with this operation, I will apply value A with value B. And my constructor will be lambda function. So give A and B, it will return A plus B. Okay. And so on. So let's call basis little guy here. So it should be minus and it should be a multiply. And maybe let me check. You are also able to use no whole, the whole time, but you're able to use uh, the metal reference such as the sun. Okay. This is my advice for you to explore the functions with lambda. Okay, let's see if something goes wrong here. Ah, I forget to return, sorry. Right now it's returning. Uh, as you can see, it's better the use a switch case. Right now, my operation is on and on itself. And the, my second step was use Java Lambda with B functions. Okay, let's go to the next partner. You ha also have the power to use strategy. For example, let's create a cook. And a cook will prepare a different dish. Okay, so let's create first the package. So a samples strategy. And then I will create my interface where it will be a cook interface. It will prepare. Right now I have my interface and let's create the cooks. So cooks as uh, in a I will implement the cook here, as you can see, and I will have my Italian and Brazilian. Well, I have the option to implement, implement here if I want to. So, making, oops, making pizza. making feijoada. Uh, when I go to my test here, so uh, I have my cook, right? And they will prepare something to me that I able to change as much I want. So for now, let's make sure that it won't return a not, not new value, okay? So I can run this task here. Dish and let's run as a Brazilian and I will run again and to the client client it will be the same so Brazilian and then the Italian food this strategy 
has the same principle that we used here in operation. So we're able to chain the, oper the operation if that chain the, the, the client self, okay? And that's the idea of strategy. The last one that I will cover today is Singleton, right? But first, remember, uh, Singleton these days with uh, dependency injection engines such as Spring or CDI, mostly of the time, it doesn't make sense to create a new one or create a, a singleton by yourself. Once you have the power to use a single annotation. But give that we're gonna run this, this exception here, I will create an, a package singleton and let's do a, a, a package with a text analysis. Text analysis. First, let's do if doubt uh, and none. So what I need to do? First, I need to define as a final. This way, nobody will extend the class. Then I will create my private constructor to nobody instantiate it. And right now, I will create my methods. I have two ways. I have one way to just uh, create static methods here. So, curate, something like that. Oh, maybe. Uh, prepare the text, the text, like that. The first step. I need to check if the value is not new. So text, text is required. Is the best way to do to validate if thou throws a new point exception. And then I I able to prepare. In this case, I will only put to uppercase okay and that is it so basically i need to define as a final i need to define as a private and have the option to the static or i can private sorry public static get instance where i will return my instance Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, oops. Instance, and then I will create. This way, it's gonna return just an instance, oops. Of text analysis. So basically, again, to define as a singleton in a class, I need to define as a final private constructor, create this instance just once. I just get here, I put a, a private, I return, and then I able to do some operation. So for example here, let's create a new test, create a test, Hopefully it will return soon. Let's see. So it will create a test for me. And think about design. Should prepare. I have my text analysis. It will return my instance. Instance. For sure, it should not be new, right? And then I will prepare my text. Hello, Pollyanna. That is my text. It should not be new, right? And it should be equals to uh, Hello, Pollyanna to uppercase. And then my test. Let's run. Let's put the annotation. By the way, I'm running with 
Jupiter or JUnit 5. But don't worry, I'm gonna put the GitHub report sorry, in the link description. Let's run and see what's going on. Done. Basically, I create the singleton in the conventional way. And then let's go to the next step where I'm gonna move it to an uh, unknown. 